Hello, I'm Tony Francola from Acceleratio, and in today's demonstration I'm going to show you some exciting new features of SP Docket. SharePoint stores a lot of data to its ULS logs or Windows event logs, and when you have multiple servers, finding all these events can be challenging. In order to help you to manage large farms, we are introducing a new feature to SP Docket called SP Docket Event Viewer. So imagine that you are managing a large SharePoint farm like the one I have on my screen. This farm has five web front-end servers, two application servers, and one SQL server. So if you have a problem that you are trying to troubleshoot and somebody gives you a correlation ID of a SharePoint error that occurred in your farm, it's going to take you some time to gather all these logs from all these servers and to analyze them with ULS Viewer. With SP Docket Event Viewer, you won't have to perform all that manual work. We are, going, we are introducing a new feature that's going to help you gather all these logs to a centralized place, and then we are going to provide you with interface that uh, helps you search and find all these problems as they occur. So SP Docket Event Viewer is basically a search engine that helps you search all these logs and analyze them uh, as you go. So we are gathering all the ULS logs and Windows event logs from all the servers from the entire farm or multiple farms. So even if you have multiple farms, you will be able to search across all these farms. With our search, you can filter by category, source, server, message, event ID, and what's imp most important, by correlation ID. The system works in real time and can collect events continuously, so you don't need to make it run because it is gathering data as it goes. Everything that you get as a result can be easily exported to Excel for further analysis. So what do I need to do in order to make this run? In this demo farm that I have on my screen, I just need to install SP Docket on a single server in your SharePoint farm. We are going to use SP Docket to gather and analyze configuration of your farm. So uh, SP Docket is going to know how many servers you have, how they are, these servers are configured, uh, what they are doing in the farm, and so on. So we're just going to create a snapshot of the config entire configuration of your SharePoint farm. In order to run SP Docket Event Viewer, I'm going to create additional server. So always use a dedicated server, especially here if you have a large SharePoint farm. So my SP Docket Event Collector service is going to run on a dedicated server, and then this service is going to gather all the logs and create a search index that I can use to search all these event logs. You will see an SP Docket Event Viewer as well on my screen. So this can be any workstation in your organization that can be used to connect to the event collector service and just display results. So you can install this on your PC or any other workstation that you have in your organization. So I have everything configured in my system and in order to start our event viewer I just need to click start and fire up the application. The application is going to show me all the farms that I'm connected to and in order to search for event logs, events and stuff like that just need to click on the farm name. So let's see how SP Docket Event Viewer works in action. Imagine that you are managing a SharePoint farm and you have a typical day in office, you are drinking coffee and just controlling your SharePoint and, and a user calls in or sends you a text message or email and says, uh, you know, SharePoint doesn't work, uh, here is the correlation ID I'm seeing on, on screen. And you just type that to your search console. This is my correlation ID and you expand it a bit and you see that you have a full event log of various uh, various events. On your left hand side you can filter by server, so I'll just choose one of my servers that I have in my farm and I'm just going to filter by that server and I'll see I still have a full event log of stuff. So if I expand one of these I'll see uh, I have a problem. So. Uh, I cannot open database, SharePoint says it cannot open database SP16 farm config and that is a problem because that is your config database. So if you uh, dig a little bit deeper and you just try to find events that uh, contain SP16 farm, you will see that you have a lot of events coming in from event log, ULS log 
everything so something is wrong with your database so it seems that uh, database is either offline or entire SQL Server is offline so here you can see uh, you have uh, your SQL Server name and then you can filter by that as well and you will see that uh, there is definitely a problem in your in your farm related to this particular SQL Server and this particular SP16 farm so in this case you would need to go to your SQL Server and check what's going on in my case, I know what's going on. The server is offline because I, I'm doing a demo here. So that's how you would find an event in, in SP Docket Event Viewer. SP Docket Event Viewer works like a search engine. So if you're looking for something that's not very specific, so for example, if you don't have a correlation ID and you just type in something that's interesting to you. So I, I just want to find out why my database is offline and what's going on here. I can type in the database name and as you can see on the left hand side I can filter by server so I have some servers here so I'm just going to filter by this one and I also have a uh, level of this exception in my case I'm very interested to find out more about unexpected errors so I can easily filter out, filter out these events and I'm just going to get some that are unexpected and that happened on SP1 I can also filter by uh, time so I can choose the period I'm interested in so if you're troubleshooting SharePoint and somebody says in the last hour this error has started to happening and then it's going to be much easier for you to filter down just to last hour or some other period that might be interesting to you. As you can see on your screen uh, for every single exception that you have in your, uh, in your event log you can see the full uh, event or everything that happened and that has been stored to either ULS or event viewer and then you can do further analysis you can add more keys to your search so if I'm looking for exceptions I can just click on that and it's going to be added to my search box and I can repeat the search and get more detailed results for that particular particular category every, ser every search uh, indicates uh, the server where this particular event was found and uh, the path in the event log source where we have found this particular event if there was a correlation ID, it would be be shown here. Uh, this particular exception does not have a correlation ID, so I need to rely on my searching abilities to find out all these events. You can further export all these reports to Excel, and then you will be able to uh, further analyze and maybe send this to somebody who is going to analyze it and find what exactly is the problem in this particular case. So this concludes our little demonstration of SP Docket Event Viewer. Go to www.spdocket.com and download SPDocket to get SPDocket Event Viewer. Try it, it's really great and we are looking for your feedback. Thank you so much.